History and Friends, long time no see. And I've been away for about a week and I apologize for that, but my husband and I took a small vacation and I thought I would share with you guys what we did with our animals while we were away on vacation. Since our horses are at home, we really don't get away very often because there's the huge issue of who's going to take care of the horses and who's going to take care of our dogs and chickens as well. So I came up with a really fun idea so I didn't have to worry about who was going to take care of the animals while we were away and I could make sure that they were going to get the care that they needed. So I enlisted the help of my daughter and in order to make it as easy as possible for her I wanted to make a video to show her this is how I take care of my horses during the morning and during the night and also the other animals that we have too. And I wanted to share the video with you so you can see what I did and that way if you're planning on taking a trip away from home this might help you in case you have someone coming to take care of your animals. So without further ado, let's look at the video that I made for my daughter. Hi, Katie, Seth, and Brian. Thank you for watching the animals. And I wanted to make a little video to show you guys kind of what we do. So first things first, we have extra muddy boots and extra muddy shoes. I would highly encourage you to wear these muddy shoes out to the barn because it could be muddy. So let's go out to the barn. Okay, so we're gonna open the gate and it's very important to latch that with the carabiner when you're done, when the horses are out. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering, this is Ethan. Ethan has the white star on his head and he has no white legs. Okay, let's go in the barn. Okay, so this is their grain and this is an emergency notification. So this has a picture of Frisbee and a picture of Ethan and then it has important phone numbers and also their feeding schedule. So in the morning they get one bag of grain and in the evening they get one bag of grain and all of the grain has their names on them. So this is Frisbee's and this is Ethan's. I know Ethan, go on, go on, go on. And over here are all of, and over here are all of the hay nets. So you're gonna hang up a hay net in their stalls in the morning and in the night. So let me show you how I do this. So the hay nets hang up right here and you'll have to untie them first. And you just, it's got little knots, that's all it is. And you just, and you just untie the knots. And then the hay bag comes off, super easy. So once the hay bag comes off, then you have to replace it with a new hay bag. So let me show you how to do that. All right, so we have a hay net. Ooh, it's muddy. Make sure you wear the muddy shoes. And what you're gonna do is take the hay net, put it inside the stall, and there's a little hook on the green panel. You pull those through, and see Ethan will already go in when he sees you feeding him. Then you're just gonna wrap the string around and then you just tie it, just like that. And that's it, and Ethan will do the rest. So after you give them their hay, go ahead and get a bag of the grain. And it says Ethan on it, Ethan. Back up, dude. So there's these buckets right here hanging on their stall. That's where the grain goes, so you just Open up the grain. And dump it in there. 
and it's done. But one thing you gotta make sure after you give them their hay and their grain, so this is for nighttime because in the morning they'll already be locked up. But after you give them their hay and their grain, make sure you lock their stall door. They have carabiners on them too. And then Ethan's tucked in for the night. So now we'll do a speeded up version of Frisbee with the hay net. So I untie the hay bag. Put the other hay bag over. And then you just wrap it around and tie it. As soon as you put their grain in their bucket, they will go in their stalls. You can feed them out here, feed them their grain out here, hang up the hay bags, and you don't have to worry about going into their barn. If they get wet, they get wet. If it rains, it's not a big deal. Now, if you're wondering which horse goes in which stall, I put stall signs or pen signs on the outside for you to see. So this is Frisbee stall and Ethan's stall. Usually they'll go in their correct stall but just in case they don't, there you go. Okay, so just in case you need them, their halters are hanging right here. It doesn't matter which one goes on which horse. They're rope halters, so the knots are for their nose. And you just put that through there and tie it, and then you have a halter. So what I would suggest if you do put the halter on them, put the lead rope around their neck first. So like catch them with that. So that way you have a hold of them before you put the halter on. And if you do need to catch them, over here I have different horse treats. These are horse treats. And of course the bucket that says horse treats are horse treats. So like I said, these are their grain, but that's not gonna be enough. So right here, I have more grain. So this is full of Ethan's grain. This is full of Frisbee's grain. In case you need more grain, I don't think you will. This is Frisbee's, oh, I'm sorry. The one that says Senior is Frisbee's, and this is Ethan's, and then these are the grain scoops on top. All right, so now we're gonna learn how to fill a hay bag. And you don't have to do this if you want, you can just give them like three flakes of hay in the morning on Monday when you leave and it'll be fine. So what you do is you take the long rope and you tie a knot in the end and you stretch it out and put it in the trash can. And there's these clamps. Put the clamps on the hay bag. And then you just put hay in it. And it usually takes about three or four flakes of hay. 
take the clamps off. Untie the knot. Oops. And you just build a hay bag. Pretty cool. Oh, something else really important just in case. Over here is light. This power strip, this green power strip on the little wall, you hit that button and that turns the lights on and off in the barn. And and well in the little red barn and then also in the horse barn their stalls if you do turn the lights on just make sure you shut them off because it's run by an extension cord <laughs> so that's not very and now we're in the chicken house now dale says the chickens are a lot easier than the horses but it's still really muddy so make sure you wear these muddy shoes and not your good shoes because it's kind of disgusting so the chickies have a treat block that stays out here all the time and then we feed them usually I feed them in the morning and their food is over here in the corner and you just take a scoop of food and fill up their little feeder and if you want to be really nice they'll love you for it there's some little snacks for them these are mealworms and they love them you can give them some mealworms just like that And then just one more thing, if you could, hopefully on Saturday, if you could go in the hen house and collect the eggs. Let me show you how to go in the hen house. Or maybe you could have Seth do it. Okay, this is the hen house. All you have to do is open this big door and this is where they roost. And just see if there's any eggs in there. If you could get them, that would be great. And then just shut the door. So the horses get fed twice a day, morning and so a.m. and p.m. And when you feed them in the morning, what you should do is just open up the gate and you can hook the carabiner on the little hook around the side if you want to. If you don't, it's not a huge deal. But that way they can run around and go out and play and be horses. And then when you come home at night, usually I just put in their hay bags and when the hay bags go in, they usually are like, oh, it's time to go in and eat. So then they'll go into their stalls, usually without a problem. Sometimes Ethan can be a little stinker and not want to go in his stall. But once you put the grain in there, I'm sure he'll go in and he'll probably be fine for you. So I'm not too worried about it. Their water is between the two of them. If you could just keep an eye on that, I don't think you'll need to fill it. But if you do, we have hoses out in the front that are super long and they reach just use the hoses in the front and the hose spigot is on the front of the house and i think that's about it thank you so much for coming down and taking care of all of our animals i don't think i have to tell you how to take care of the dogs there's tons of treats in there tons of food in there as long as they have food and water they're happy i love you very much thank you thank you thank you and we will see you soon so i think that was pretty fun what do you think I just wanted to give you an idea of something that you can do in case you do have to go out of town or you want to take a vacation and get away for a little bit and not really worry about how your horses are going to be taken care of if you have your horses at home. And hopefully you paid attention. In the video I shared a really neat like command center that I made for my daughter so she would know what the horses look like, when they eat, and emergency contact numbers. That's what I'm gonna share with you in my next video. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and you can watch that video next.